After going through cancer treatment, getting back to the gym can be tough, but a local nonprofit is working to change that. New Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen met a man who recently graduated from the program and is finally catching his breath. Ron Hollis wasn't always able to tire slam. For a while, he couldn't climb stairs without being out of breath. So I was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer in 2014. After a year and a half of chemotherapy and two rounds of radiation, he was depleted. Once he was cancer free, he became a survivor fitness participant. And I began to get some muscle mass, um, began to get bigger here and smaller here, which is what was needed. <laughs> Uh, and then kind of got it in my head that I could get my, my life back again. So that's, that's how we got going. The nonprofit was started by a cancer survivor who realized getting back to the gym was intimidating. There's things you can and can't do. You're going to be doing what is designed for you, made for you. Trainers like Aaron Strickland and Zlatko Hundar work with cancer survivors twice a week for 12 weeks. And we're going to be with you every step of the way. Strickland says it's okay to be nervous and it's okay to start with something as simple as balance. Really, you have to be open minded and you have to listen and Everyone's going to have different challenges. They're going to have different um, struggles throughout this healing process. After graduating from the program, Hollis still works out with Zlotko at Chadwick's Fitness and Performance Training. Now he finally has his breath back. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Fight, fight, get through it, and then get everything back when, you, uh, when you're ready. Um, get connected with Survivor Fitness Foundation and we'll get you back to life. Right now, they're looking for more cancer survivors to participate in the program. If you would like to join, we'll post more information on how to do that on our website. Reporting from Williamson County, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Now, if you are not able to pay for training, the nonprofit will chip in to help. The Survivor Fitness Foundation all provides, also provides nutritional support. As of now, gym partners include Chadwick's Fitness and Performance Training, Results on Music Row, and Vanderbilt's Dayani Center.